Hi, my name is Marco Kohn and I work as Senior Business Consultant here at Spryker. In this video, I'm going to tell you about pay-per-use business models. The rise of digital services, as well as connected products, has fundamentally changed the way we think about purchasing and ownership. Product-as-a-service business models have gained in popularity and amongst them, the pay-per-use models. With pay-per-use business models, companies no longer sell the actual product or service, but rather sell access to them. Instead of paying the full price, customers have to pay a certain fee based on how much they actually use them. That model is more common already when it comes to purely digital offerings, where access can be granted at the touch of a button and the actual usage can be monitored quite easily. However, as more and more physical products are equipped with sensors and are connected to the internet, companies can leverage telemetry data to conveniently offer pay-per-use business models for those smart products. Pay-per-use is especially relevant when the demand for a product or service is rather sporadic and full ownership would not be attractive, for example, due to the high purchasing price or maintenance cost. For products such as big machines, where even storing and maintenance during downtimes would be a challenge, Another, more traditional form of pay-per-use can be attractive, rental. While not being needed by one user, the product can be simply offered to another one. Due to the increased flexibility and lower entry barriers, pay-per-use business models can attract more and entirely new customer segments. At the same time, product-as-a-service offerings usually allow for higher prices compared to traditional selling of products and services. 